This week, everyone on the radical left side of the political spectrum celebrated as the Trump CFO was indicted on tax fraud charges. Now, he has pled not guilty, but that did not stop the left from continuing to push for indictments against anyone named Trump. All the while, they continue to ignore things that matter. This is the Closet Conservative Podcast. So earlier this week, the Trump Organization CFO was indicted on charges of tax fraud for over $1 million. The radical left immediately went into celebration mode. For years now, they have wanted to find a way to go after anyone named Trump. Now, they feel like they are one step closer to having their way, even though the CFO is not named Trump and has nothing to do other than working for the family. Radical media personalities like Rachel Maddow were celebrating this and rallying the radicals behind what they call pending charges against those named Trump. They said Eric Trump and Donald Trump Jr. were in the midst of meltdowns as they went around the media circuit. And as they made their rounds, they continued to highlight how the mainstream media and the radical left want to ignore the Hunter Biden case. Now, that's true. The radical left wants to put as much attention as they can onto the Trump family then focus on Hunter Biden. They don't want to talk about the laptop. They don't want to talk about the situation around Hunter Biden. And who would? I mean, who, who would want to talk about Hunter Biden? Who wouldn't want to turn the attention towards Trump? I mean, after all, their beloved radical puppet of a president could be implicated in anything that's related to Hunter Biden. So I'm certainly not saying the Trump organization is clean. I don't want you to take what I'm saying wrong. I don't know. I've not been there. I've not looked at the files. I'm not saying the organization is clean. Now, there are reports that are coming out saying that there are no indictments pending against the Trump family. That was in, in a uh, close rela- uh, closely reported tweet that I read earlier that it was reported back to the White House aides that the DA was saying that Trump was clean. So we're, we're still to see. We have no idea, or I have no idea, if there will or will not be charges against the Trump family. If they are guilty of something, they deserve to be charged. Let's just be clear. But what I am saying is that the Trump organization is not accused of using their position in the White House to build a business. They were successful business people long before they ever got to the White House. They were successful in building their businesses without the benefits of a daddy in the White House or a daddy as a vice president or a daddy that could fly them around the country on Air Force Two so they didn't have to pay for travel. Hunter and his partners apparently needed Air Force Two. They needed Daddy Joe Biden and all the benefits of the federal government just to attempt to build a business. And they still failed. Of course, we would expect nothing less from the Democrats who have always had to cheat their way into success. They are never willing to put the work into it. They're never willing to earn anything the hard way. They would rather lie, cheat, and steal. That is the Democrat way. But this is about so much more than just Hunter Biden. I'm not going to sit here and talk for 10 minutes about Hunter Biden. And and it's not about him. It's not about the, the, the Hunter Biden laptop. It's not about the Trump organization as the mainstream radical media wants to make this. You see, they claim that the Trump family just wants to use Hunter as a distraction. They claim that they want to distract from their upcoming charges and use Hunter Biden to try to help them out. But I don't quite see it that way. I see this as a continued ignorance from the left. I see this as they're continuing to ignore the outright abuse of office that Joe Biden has participated in. He sold out his position for personal gain. But no one cares. They continue to ignore that Biden lied about his involvement with Hunter. The new laptop photos that have emerged show he was involved in the business dealings of Hunter, even though he said many times before he knew nothing about the business dealings of Hunter, that he was not involved. But the photos prove it. But you don't hear that from the mainstream media. Or what about the fact that Joe Biden has obvious mental decline? We've talked about that many times. Joe Biden obviously has cognitive issues. But you don't hear about that. The mainstream media continues to ignore. And and there's something not quite right with the man. Those things matter. They continue to look the other way as he continues with his gaffes and his mistakes, as they like to call them. They continue to ignore the things that China and Russia are doing and that Biden continues to allow them to get away with. 
They ignore how more and more details are emerging to show how China was guilty of releasing the coronavirus around the world, how China was using coronaviruses to develop biological weapons, and it appears that the COVID-19 pandemic was actually a test on their own citizens gone wrong. Or what about the radical left continuing to ignore how Russia and China are making moves? Not just small moves, but big moves on the global political scene. China continues to operate in direct acts against Taiwan with no response from the Biden regime. Biden said he was going to be tough on China, but apparently that was just tough to tough enough, I guess, to get a response out of him. I, I don't know. Or what about the news where China and Russia are coordinating military exercises? It's concerning enough that one military expert warned against a potential coordinated attack by China and Russia on Hawaii. Perhaps that would wake Joe Biden out of his jello cup stupor. Biden refuses to handle the crisis at the border. He is allowing thousands of illegals to pour across the border without any punishment, repercussion for anything that they're doing. He refuses to answer questions of reporters, and instead he was more interested in saying that it is a holiday weekend. Rather than focusing on things that actually matter, like protecting our nation and promoting our freedom, the radical left continues to focus on the name of Trump. They continue to push their agenda of critical race theory. They continue their push to ultimately destroy our nation. After all, that's their ultimate goal. As David Limbaugh so well wrote this week in his article, if you were to write an agenda on how to destroy the United States, I don't think you could have written a better plan than what the Joe Biden regime has executed. But what about those who are not part of the radical left? We realize that there are those that are not part of the radical left, but they're not part of the resistance standing up to what the radical left is doing. It seems they simply cannot see beyond the lies. They continue to believe what the fake news media says. To those people, I give my warning today. It is time to wake up and see beyond the radical left. It is time to see beyond party lines. It's time to see beyond political fights and psychological games. It's time to get back to focusing on America, freedom, and ending the attempts to undermine our great republic. This is not a Republican issue. This is not a Democrat issue. This is an American issue. And as we are approaching celebrating Independence Day this weekend, we need to realize just how close we are to losing our freedom entirely. Because if the radical left has their way, this will be the last Independence Day you are able to celebrate free. I, for one, am not willing to let that happen. The Closet Conservative Podcast is a production of The Liberty Loft. Copyright The Liberty Loft 2021. You can find more shows and information on our website, www.thelibertyloft.com, or on any of our social media channels. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe to the podcast, leave a five-star review, and share the podcast with your friends.